one of the great things about carp fishing is that you can do it for whatever reason you want to do it. Some people do it for the pursuit of the, the best fish out there. Some do it as personal challenge. I do it as a means of escape. I can do the challenge thing. I can sort of live in a bivvy for a couple of days and hunt really big fish. Or I can just escape from a very high pressure job and have 48 superb hours doing exactly what I want to do. And I just alleviate those hours. I fill them with everything that makes me happy. I like nice wines, I like nice food, I like nature and wildlife and stuff like that. And whatever I want to do that's constructive and fun, I go and do it. And um, up to and including my little espresso maker. You can't beat it, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. You just put some water in a pot. This gives you all the buzz of proper coffee. If you want to sit and watch the, watch the water and watch the fish, but because you're not absorbing huge amounts of liquid, you don't have to get up three or four times a night and disappear off into the bushes. So all you do is you take your, your coffee, put it in there, put it in this little dispenser thingy, you drop that in there, screw that on there, you can see the little spout. But look at that little thing, look, look at that. Little fistful of stimulation there, and better than the standard, I'm thinking. Bung that straight over the flame. You put your cup on there. See how small it is, it doesn't take up any room. And then you sit and look around and watch the water, listen to the roar, and within two minutes or so, you'll see all sorts of magic occurring down the bottom there. Getting the full splurge coming out now. The aroma's already, imagine that in the bivvy, first thing in the morning. And now you get that familiar espresso gurgle. Cheers. Oh, that's wonderful. Now keep you alert, you'll be able to see every fish, hear every noise, and you don't have to do every wee. What a wonderful thing.